Hood, as he has the name Basil Kassim, who is Associate Professor of Sociology at Montclair State University, New Jersey, from where she now joins me. Yes, I mean, your research has prompted a sort of eureka moment, wasn't it? A, a snowy day when you noticed that students hadn't turned up for college. Oh, yes, it did. My work started on this very snowy day at a college town. It was one of those days when the classes were in session, but the college campus was deserted. So I went to get a cup of coffee and noticed that somehow all these students who couldn't make it to school somehow made it to work. And I wondered why. Why did they choose work over school? And I assumed it had to be the money. But somehow these young people look very affluent, especially with their stylish haircuts, brand new cell phones, and their cars. But I was surprised because some of them actually worked a double shift. Some of them were off the block just to help their friends on this very difficult uh, snowy day. And I wonder why. Why would these affluent students work in these very bad jobs with low pay, no benefits, and odd hours? And that's how my work started. Now, these, so when you, you went to interview these people, as you say, 16 to 24 year old high school and college students, I mean, affluent, they the right suburb of New York and New Jersey. What did you find out? What did they tell you about the work when you came to interview? was the surprising part. When I asked them, why do you work? A lot of them said, it's not about the money. And many affluent suburban students work for social reasons. They work to meet new friends. They want to socialize with their existing friends, especially in centralist suburbs. There's so many uh, anti-teenage policies in the suburbs. There are a lot of shopping malls and movie theaters that ban teenagers altogether. And some of them have implemented um, parental escort policies, which might even be worse. So they want to work just so that they can socialize with their friends when their parents are not there. They also want to be associated with cool brands. Okay, go on, the cool brands. Many don't care about the low pay, working conditions, a lack of benefits. They choose their places based on the prestige of the brand. Mom of all places, for example, which might have better working conditions, they're out of the question. Uh, especially fast food places, they're down the food chain. Many say, if I shop there, I'll work there. So a place of work shows their identity. So, Just by knowing someone's place so, of work. So they're saying something like, I, I normally get my coffee from Starbucks, so therefore somehow Starbucks is about me, so therefore I'll go and work for Starbucks. It's consonant with my own identity. Exactly. And just by knowing that someone works at Starbucks, 